be the first video of my 20 gallon nano tank. It's mostly LPS corals and soft corals. It has five green banded gobies and one true percula clownfish. Some of the corals I have are Lord Powensis and a Lobophilia. And then in the back there is a Devil's Hand Leather. The, that one's green. I have a pink one right here. One of my new favorite corals is this Cristata. I got it for only $15. And, when it's colored up it has like gold gold branches with bluish tips it lost some of its color when it was in quarantine in the back I have a green polyped toadstool and right here's a neon green sinulara and I also have some Duncans I'm gonna fill all the voids between all the other corals with zoanthids. And the green banded gobies are the stars of the tank. I have five of them, and one of them's very small, and it's in the back chamber of the tank right now. It likes to slip back there and never come out. The one time it got back there, it somehow got back into the main display area. I have no idea how it did that. But right now I have all the flow off so hopefully it swims back through. I do also have another tank here which is a mushroom dominated tank. It's bare bottom. And I plan on growing zoanthids on the bottom here. And once they grow up enough, I'll transfer them to the other tank. And the corals I have in it so far are Florida Recordia. That one's blue center, orange mid rim, and a green outer rim. And then there's another Recordia in the back. That one's kind of pinkish and blue and orange. And it's not bleached or anything, that's just how it looks. And then I have a jawbreaker mushroom that's very small. Probably quarter to a half an inch. And here's some green recordia. And I have two bubble tip anemones. They have the green centers. And I think that's Superman Rodactus. I don't really know because it lost some of its color in the quarantine. And then there is a purple mushroom right there. And then the fish in here are just the two pink skunk clownfish. And some of the polyps that are going to be going in that tank, these ones right, right here are Rastas. And I already have these in that tank, they're just hiding in the back right now. And I don't know what those are, and I don't know what those ones are. And those are King Midas, but they're not looking too great. And I also have Red People Eaters, they're in the back of the 20 gallon too hiding for now. I'd like to get some other more colorful ones like the LA Lakers or the Fruity Tooties or Fruit Loops. Here are all the polyps I have in the back. And I did have some Recordia Yuma but they started dying so I put them in the lowest 
lowest flow area of the tank with the least amount of light, and that's the corner here. Hopefully at least one will make it. One of my goals for this tank is for it to be ultra low maintenance because I've been reefing a very long time and I want it to be as easy as possible and as low maintenance as it can be. That's why I chose all the soft corals and the LPS because they're all pretty easy to take care of. They don't have high demands.